Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Switcher T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys an M60 Moab uh, playing 6v6 domination the map Terminal. I think I was just playing solo in this game, but I'm not really sure. And uh, I had I hadn't used the M60 in a really really long time, and I wanted to just try to go for like a Moab or a high gun streak with this weapon. So I put it on my class, and after a few games, I was able to get this M60 Moab. I think like a game or two before this, I was on Arcaden, and I died on like a 22 or 23 gun streak with the M60, so I almost decided to change my class and like not use this gun anymore. That actually happens to me a lot, where if I'm trying to go for a Moab with like a certain class or a certain gun, if I die one or two off the Moab, I kind of just get really frustrated and I'm like, you know, why am I going to try to go for a Moab with this gun again? So a lot of times I just kind of change my mind and switch up my class, but I decided, even though I died really close, to it I decided to keep using the M60 and I got this Moab in this game here I cut out the first few kills in this game because I think to get my first six kills it took me like two minutes uh, it was just really really slow and I couldn't find any guys for some reason and then the rest of the Moab was pretty fast it took me about three minutes to get the rest of the like 17 or 18 kills so hopefully you guys enjoy this M60 Moab I think in total on my channel there's probably only maybe like one or two Moabs with this gun it's just one of those guns that I don't use very often so hopefully you guys enjoy that my class setup really quick was the M60 with Red Dot and Silencer, then I had Scavenger, Hardline, and Marksman, and my specialist streaks were Stalker, Quick Draw, and Sleight of Hand. Uh, for the rest of the two minutes that I have, I want to tell you guys what my favorite TV show is right now, and it's actually called Troy Street Magic. It's on the Sci-Fi channel, and for me, that's channel uh, 59, I think, because I have Comcast, but I really, really love this show because he reminds me of David Blaine. Uh, Troy is he's half Jamaican and then he's like half British so he has like this cool kind of foreign style to him and he does street magic so he goes around to uh, different places like a clothing store and uh, to like an arcade and to the beach and stuff he goes to all different places and he does street magic just like David Blaine used to do and he does some really really insane tricks some of the things that he does like uh, like levitating and like teleporting and stuff like they kind of show those briefly and I don't th I don't find those to be entertaining I know those are all kind of fake and just kind of video edited and stuff but a lot of the like card tricks he does and sleight of hand type things I absolutely love watching those because I do magic and I love you know watching other magicians and stuff and seeing new tricks that I've never seen before so this Troy Street Magic show, it's on every week. There's been three episodes so far, and I don't know how many there's going to be in total for this season, but it's my favorite show right now. I watch it every, uh, I think it's every Tuesday night at like 8 or 9 o'clock Western uh, Pacific Time. So, you know, I love this show. It's really, really entertaining. And if you guys don't watch it already, you can watch it on demand if you have Comcast. And, I mean, it'll probably be on Netflix at some point, but just watch Troy Street Magic. You can probably find it on YouTube as well. He's just like a 25-year-old kid. He lives in Britain, I think, and he does like a lot of street magic stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoy this M60 Moab, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.